What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. Now 8 is over for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, 8T and OnePlus 9 are users. Because OnePlus have started rolling out the stable build of Oxygen OS 13 for these phones. And in this video let's quickly go through the stable build of Oxygen OS 13 and we'll also tell you what all minor issues are present. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I've already installed the latest build of Oxygen OS 13 which is stable build. And this update rolled out yesterday as you can see here it says official version if you go to android version it says android 13 which comes with 5th october 2022 security patch if you talk about the version now version is f.13 for oneplus 8 series and for oneplus 9r i think it's f.16 if you guys haven't received the ota update i'll try to provide the download links in the description below you can install it over the stable build of oxygen os 12.1 i received it via beta 2 wherein the size was 497 mb for my oneplus 8 you guys just have to download the correct file from the description below tap on update section then tap on these three dots you'll get the option of local install if you don't see this local install option enable developer options and you'll be good to go this way you can install oxygen os 13 on your oneplus 8 8 pro 8t and oneplus 9r and guys now before moving ahead let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video we still have 82 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so if you guys find our videos helpful to you do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video now talking about the benchmark results so we did perform benchmark testing after updating to oxygen os 13 and we used high performance mode so these are the results where you can see single core have scored 901 and multi core have scored 2912 with antutu benchmark device have scored 687587 but we noticed bit of throttling issues while performing cpu throttling test where you can see maximum cpu only throttled up to 79 and there were a lot of dips in the graph too and we'll soon be coming up with the in-depth review of this build so stay tuned for that if you have any kind of queries related to stable build let me know in the comment section below so that i can check on them before releasing the review video and guys we won't be covering the features because we have already done a lot of videos on that so you can find those videos in the description below which includes features of oxygen os 13 along with difference between oxygen os 13 and 12.1 so those videos can be found in the description below one thing which i liked about the stable build of oxygen os 13 for oneplus 8 series and 9r and that's layer to app drawer so here you can see on our oneplus 8 we do get that blurry background in the app drawer but that's not the case with oneplus 9 9 pro and 9 rt these devices comes with this solid background in the app drawer and i personally did not like that oneplus have still maintained that blurry background on oxygen os 13 for oneplus 8 series and we still get a lot of questions related to the media player which should appear in the quick setting tiles so guys oneplus have removed it by default if you guys want to access media player there should be some song being played in the background it's the same case with other oneplus smartphones towards the right hand side here you can see on my oneplus 9 also we don't have the media player until unless i play any music we don't get to see that if i start playing the music you can see the media player by quick setting tile do appears also in my previous video i have mentioned one issue related to the text after tapping the shortcut keys on the lock screen so guys i think this text completely depends on the fingerprint icon placement so here on my oneplus 8 if you see if i tap on the shortcut the text appears above the fingerprint sensor and the same case is on other smartphones which is like oneplus 9 so here fingerprint placement is little bit lower that's the reason it's appearing towards the downside so it's not a bug this is how it meant to be on oneplus smartphones depending on the fingerprint icon placement and when we talk about the lock screen i can still see choppy animation of music player so once you tap here you can see the animation isn't that smooth on oxygen os 13. i did not see any kind of improvements here notification issues have been sorted out with the newer build on the previous build there were a bit of issues related to notifications when they used to appear in the notification panel some users have been reporting us issues that they are not able to enroll the fingerprint so guys for once i would suggest everyone to perform a factory reset after updating the device to oxygen os 13. that way you can get rid of a lot of issues so here if you see there are no issues registering fingerprint on my oneplus 8 running stable build of oxygen os 13. so it's highly recommended to perform a factory reset once after updating and let me also show you the screenshot of 5g because i did test out the speed and if i go to speed test application i'm using airtel sim card and i do get the 5g so here you can see wherein download speed was 509 mb and upload was somewhere around 80 mb so there are no issues layered to 5g also 
on this stable build i had no issues signing into ride cable club which used to happen on my oneplus 9 series and 9 rt you guys must be aware about this feature of enlarge folder where you can enlarge the folder and access the applications directly without opening the folder and under the gallery application we don't have the support of auto pixelate which was the same case on oneplus 9 series also so if you go to edit tapping on pixelate here you can see there is no support of auto pixelate now and talking about the dialog guys as i have already told you guys after oneplus 8 series i mean to say including oneplus 8 series every oneplus smartphones comes with google dialer but till oneplus 8 pro we do get the stock dialer even on oxygen os 13 Basically there is nothing much to cover guys because we have already done detailed review of all the features of Oxygen OS 13 so once again make sure to check them out links can be found in the description below and talking about the font on OnePlus 9 series if you guys have seen we were not able to change the font weight of Roboto but on OnePlus 8 series we cannot even change the font weight of OnePlus Sans we can only change the font weight of One Sans rest other things are there for example wallpaper color picking so depending on the wallpaper you can change the accent color we have the support of themed icon but it's still in beta phase if you go to icon customs and here we have the option of match wallpaper color you just have to apply and as i told you guys it's in beta phase so not every application is being supported and also we do have the support of background music playback so if you are playing any video on your device or you know any platform opening up the side panel you'll get an option called background streaming so using this you can easily play the audio in the background and at last let's also take a look at the 90 fps support whether it is present on OnePlus 8 series or not so if i go to graphic settings here tapping on the graphic settings here you can see i have set everything to 90 fps smooth and 90 fps i mean to say and if i enable the system status you can see it still delivers 60 fps not 90 fps but initially when i ran the game like after installing oxygen os 13 here you can see device was giving me 90 fps once i closed the game it was again back to 60 fps so guys this was a quick overview as i told you guys we'll come up with a in depth review so if you have any particular question related to oxygen os 13 stable version for oneplus 8 series do let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys going to like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day